Hi everybody, Kirk Wickheiser here. Welcome back to my studio. Today I'm going to produce a video that demonstrates how to add wildlife to an existing landscape. As you know, even if you're the greatest of photographers, the landscape itself will hold still for you. You don't have to worry about that. But having an, a, uh, the animal that you would like to add to it wander into the scene it's just not going to happen. So I'm going to show you what I did to to uh, to get my this elk into this painting that I just finished up. This is Glacier National Park. Um, this is this is pretty extensive painting that I just did. It's a 30 by 40. It's um, it's the St. Mary River at Glacier National Park, and I decided that I would add in a uh, an elk after the fact. So. There's three big keys uh, with uh, putting an animal in your landscape. Of course, you've got to pick an animal that is native to the geography that you're painting. In other words, if you're painting the Rocky Mountains, uh, you're not going to want to show a crocodile or a, uh, or a giraffe in there. Not to be too funny, but and I think most of you know, uh, you know, out in the Rocky Mountains, you're going to see things like grizzly bear and moose and elk and bighorn sheep. But uh, I decided an elk would be very fitting for this particular painting. But I didn't want it to be, I didn't want this to be an elk painting. I just wanted it to be incidental to the overall image of the landscape. And um, there's three keys. It's finding the right, getting the right species, picking out your species, getting the proportions right, not only painting the proportions of the animal itself, but getting it in looking like it's in perspective and laying in your landscaping in your in the right proportion and I understand that looking at a landscape is kind of hard to judge size because there's really nothing to measure against there is nothing symmetrical about a landscape it's hard to judge it but what I did is I did a little research on elk and by looking at the painting I assume that a six foot tall person would stand about yay high and moving that top, moving the top down in perspective a, an elk, a full grown elk has a hind quarters that's under five feet and remember you know you don't have to be exact you can be plus or minus ten percent on the size and the eye will pretty much believe what it's looking at so what I did is I just estimated about where five feet was and that's where I placed the the hind end of the animal so what I did is I took a snapshot of my painting I brought it into a software package that allows you to work in layers I found some images of elk and I like this one in particular this was on a public domain website though it's free to use for anybody and even though I did tweak it a little bit I brought in a, an image of an elk and I erased everything around it and then by it being on a separate layer I was able to zoom in and out and get it to where I thought that it looked like it was right with the proportions of the landscape. So that's what you want to do. But you also want to be very careful to pick images or references that have highlights on the same side that you would have in your landscape. In other words, if your light source is coming from this direction, which it is in this case, it's kind of a high late afternoon sun, you want to make sure that your animal represents that as well. You don't want to have highlights on the opposite side. It's not going to look like it fits. So, I appreciate you tuning in and subscribing to my channel. And for my next video, I'm just going to demonstrate how to paint this into the uh, landscape. It, is, it isn't going to be highly detailed because it's rather small in this particular case. And I may do some more wildlife where I can put the primary focus being the animal and then you'll see much more detail but uh, you can you don't have to have a ton of detail to make it look good in a painting this size when it's a little bit smaller part of the painting so with that said I'm gonna go ahead and get started and uh, thanks for tuning in I'll talk to you soon
Thank you.